the show, we told you how the tours and rummage sales at the Kailua Underground Bunker benefit the Hawaii Animal Sanctuary. For Veterans Day, we wanted to share more of Gary Weller's fascinating World War II stories that took place on the windward side of Oahu. This is what the Navy Air Station looked like before the beginning of World War II. This bunker was built after the bombing of Pearl Harbor and it was part of Seacoast Defense. And Seacoast Defense fell underneath the War Department and its job was to protect all the borders of the United States and the coastal areas. This is the 8-inch gun that was outside. There were two of them. It was a breech-loaded gun which means it was loaded from the back side and you notice there's a little building over it and the gun would turn on the turret and that building was to disguise the gun so that if the Japanese came back to Hawaii and they looked at this facility they would think that this was a Japanese fishing village on the water. Other pictures on the wall here are all from this side of the island. The mini sub that landed in Waimanalo, Bellows, their job was to sabotage all communications on this side of the island and they were actually captured by two Hawaiian guys. Thirteen men lost their life that day on the Navy Air Station. Um, also on the windward side it was very interesting that the military actually had uh, cowboys in military uniform that attended cattle on this side of the island. So you'll see one picture here and another one with the military guys in uniform over there. Military men in the cane fields practicing. This one is really unique. I got this from the National Archives. This man is very important on the Windward side. His name was John Flynn. That day when the Japanese attacked the Navy Air Station, John broke into the armory, mounted a 50 caliber machine gun on a jeep, and shot down the two planes of the beginning of the United States entering World War II. And in doing such, he was shot across the chest, and he almost died. And instead of going right to the hospital, he hopped on the jeep and went to the other side of the base to save his wife. And then they both went to the hospital, and it took him three months to recover, and then he received the first Medal of Honor of World War II. Too. This is John Flynn before he died. He actually visited this facility on one of the tours to Hawaii, but he never missed a single Pearl Harbor reunion date until the day he passed away. And then this picture here is of actually of Roosevelt sitting here and getting a briefing on a map of how we were going to retake the Pacific. And finally, after that briefing was over, Roosevelt went to a luau on this side of the island. A man in Enchanted Lakes passed away last year and his son came up here and he said, would you like this map that my dad made? He was head of the mapping department in Japan and this was the first map. The Japanese had all the depths of the water and where all the reefs were throughout Asia for all the years that they had navigated the Pacific Seas. And so McLaughlin needed to translate all that into English and create maps that the whole world could use to allow Japan to recover. And so McLaughlin's job was to uh, re-establish Japan as a, as an, a nation uh, after it was destroyed. And so he knew that if to, to get commerce to come to Japan, all the waterways would have to be identified. And this was the first map that they made, and it was hanging in McGothers office. And when the father retired, McGothers gave him the map. This room had the infrastructure. It had tool room, supply room, air conditioning room, uh, generator room, uh, janitorial closet, and finally down at the other end was the barracks for the men. And it took 22 men to operate this facility in eight-hour shifts. So, after we cleaned up the bunker uh, around 2008, we started to do fundraisers up here for Hawaii Animal Sanctuary. We've had some weddings up here. We've had some uh, uh, parties up here like the Monster Museum for Halloween. But the main thing for Hawaii Animal Sanctuary are the garage sales that we have. And they're every other month and they all throughout the year. And Hawaii Animal Sanctuary, uh, this is the checkout area. And you can see that everything that we get is donated by the people. So we, we purchase nothing, everything comes to us. Uh, many families in Kailua, Kaneohe, even as far as Kahala and other parts of the island drive over here because they like the cause of saving animals' lives. Reservations are highly recommended and you can contact us through the phone number that's on the screen.